So, hello guys, continue from where we stop. So what I want to do now is, for instance, I want to use a skip logic on a test. Let's say I want to display a certain question based on the name of the respondent. How am I going to do that? We can actually leverage on skip logic in Kobo Tubos to carry out the operation. So how am I going to do it? So let's jump into it. Let's say, for example, on this age, for instance, I want to display the age if the name of the respondent is David. So how am I going to do that? What I need to do is to go to the setting on the H. So I'm going to click on the setting. Then I'm going to click on the skip logic, right? Now, on the skip logic, you know, let me go back again. Skip logic. We have add a condition and we also have manually enter your skip logic in SLS form code. So to use test, we are going to be using the manually enter your skip logic in SLS form code. So how am I going to do that? What I need to do is to click on it. Then I want to display the age if the name of the respondent is David. So how am I going to do that? What I need to do is to use dollar sign, open curly bracket. So I'm going to go to the name of the respondent and I'll click on it. So I will copy the data column name and then I'll go to the skip logic and paste it. Then I'll close the curly bracket. Then equal apostrophe David. So if the name is David, display the age. Otherwise, go to the next question. So that's what this means. So what I need to do now is to save. After saving, I'll go to preview form. So on the preview form, you can see the age is missing, right? It's hidden. Now, what I need to do is, if I should type show, it's not going to bring it out. If I type anything, it's not going to bring it out, except I type David. So if you want to, if you want to, if like, for example, you have someone that you want to identify in your questionnaire, and you want only that person to fill that form, you can actually use this skip logic to do that. So let me use David. And it's going to bring out the H. So that's the advantage of using the SLS form code to for skip logic. So thank you very much. So let's go to the next one.